Well, from trotting to maybe a little football, one group in Spencerport hosted a charity football tournament this morning, raising more than $500. News to NBC's Brianna Collier was there to catch all the action. Bri? Yeah, Raven, the event organizer, told me they have been putting on this charity football tournament every year for Thanksgiving for almost eight years. In fact, in the first seven years, they raised close to $3,000. And there were several teams, and whatever team won the tournament, 100% of the money was donated to the charity of their choice. On Thanksgiving, normally many people are spending time with family, maybe watching football, but a group of guys in Spencerport were actually the players. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic, right? Everybody, everybody comes out, plays a little bit of football, goes home to their families, eats some good food. I think it's just a nice thing for everyone to come out and enjoy themselves for a little bit and on today and, and then go home and relax for some good family time. Now making its rounds to becoming a yearly tradition, all while raising money for charity. You know, Thanksgiving, you're always giving something that you're thankful for around the table. And, you know, I'm thankful for the opportunities I've had. And obviously, you know, other people might not be able to be given those opportunities. So bringing a little bit of money. So 500. 500? Yep. Okay, cool. You know, whether it be a personal friend who may be battling uh, personal health issues or an organization that's local and near to us, um, any money we feel like would just kind of bring a happier Thanksgiving to an organization or a person. Event coordinator Jordan Pasquale says he took just a small idea and quite literally ran with it, going on eight years now. The fun and all that with all of us guys getting out, hanging out with each other, it's a good time, but definitely, you know, it has a bigger cause than just coming to play some football for fun. And though the goal is to win, Carson in this case, it's much bigger than that. It's a nice way to bring something that's close to home to light. Um, you know, obviously, there are other people that are dealing with, with something similar, and, and um, I know my uncle Ron has played for uh, the Cancer Society before, and I know that one's close to him, too, so um, just anything that we can give. Anything we can give for a good cause. Have you on the news, baby? Creating a tradition they look forward to every year. It means a lot. Just the fact that these guys are all willing to take time, a little time away from their families on the holidays, and just, just to be able to give back to any charity hey, hey, means a lot to all of us. And then you want to get out there and play. But the other charities included Toys for Tots, Parkinson's, and the American Cancer Society. And Jordan, the event coordinator, says they hope it will continue to get bigger and better every year. And I'm sure it will because there were a lot of guys out there, Raven. Oh, Brianna, thank you. And we want to